Alright guys, Namaste G, how's everybody doing? Day 2 in Zanskar, uh, today was an entire day of driving. As far as off-roading is concerned, man, today's drive was like crazy. Man, I really, I had a really, really nice time like driving in these conditions. The views were insane, man. There was this one mountain in the middle of nowhere. It just looked like a big natural fortress, like, you know, just up in the air. It was great. Um, so many small little villages perched by and, you know, driving through these tupas and just really, really amazing. Um, like I told you guys, we hadn't done any research as such, so we were going, uh, so we were almost about to reach Puktal when we realized, man, it's almost about a 40 minute walk from here. So, yeah, that didn't work out for us. So, today we're just gonna stay here in uh, Purne village, which is again beautiful. And uh, tomorrow we'll head to uh, Puktal and show you guys this beautiful remote monastery. काफी हरियाली आजकल मेरे प्रजा में लोग बहुत खुश हैं सबको एक एक तोला सोना दिया जाएगा मेरी तरफ से ठीक है रेडी अर्जुन ओके स्माइल बाय बाती Now it's just the two of us, it's like old times. Old times, old times. <laughs> Do you see the red flag? Yeah, but all this is broken, it's just come. So I think what we need to do is go back up all the way around on top of these, uh, whatever these are, and then kind of reach there. Do not trust anybody who says <laughs> there's a path leading somewhere. Like the second roadblock, there is no path over here. Just on these. You can, you can. Oh my god, Ronnie, I'm too scared. Go, go, go fast. <laughs> And they said reaching Fuktal would be easy. <laughs> I think we're supposed to go all the way down to the river. But from where? Let it, let it slide. Let it slide. It's just sliding down. That's all. That's it. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> Good. He's saying pass. Thank you, sir. Uh, anyways, made it. To the other side, guys. Hotel, you better be good. All right, guys. So just reached the bridge, the crazy little bridge. Okay, this is locked for a reason, I guess. And I don't think anybody's supposed to be walking on this. Look at how shaky this is, man. This is more like it. Okay guys, I think we're here, finally. My mouth is so dry, sorry. Lips are dry. This must be a new entrance. Still under construction. Oh yeah, it is, it says Bukhtil Gompa. Finally, oh shit! Holy shit, look at that! Oh my god. 
This is unreal, guys. Unreal. It literally looks like the monastery is just popped out of the rocks, like it's a part of the rock formation. It doesn't feel out of place. It's crazy here. Yeah. How, how do you do this? We have officially entered a different time over here. Oh, wow. Guys, this is like a living Shangri-La. Oh my God. I know, it's just confusing. Where do we go? It's like just staircases everywhere. Through this. It's actually like a whole cave, dude. So we are not allowed to film inside, so... Tada! What are you asking today? Yes. What are you asking? Today we are full. Yes, 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 today we are full. You can apparently hear it everywhere in the monastery. And it's like how your school bell rings. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like that. It's to call everybody up to the temple right now. These guys are making some uh, butter tea. I had a bit of peanut butter and bread. And some chai. Just chilling out in the Gompa kitchen right now. So guys, here we are, man, as soon as we walked in, man, there was this whole calmness that just came upon us. Both Pati and I were just like, we didn't have words to explain, man. When we, <laughs> this is like a labyrinth of like just rooms and passages and, and it's just on such a steep slope and I don't know how they built this, but they, <laughs> whoever's built this has done a great, great job. So the Puktul Monastery that you see behind me is around 700 years old but the cave that you see in which it is built that's about 2500 years old. So for centuries uh, a lot of monks and uh, people have been coming here to meditate in these caves. In total I think there are about 50 monks over here, 30 young ones who are studying and uh, 20 others who take care of the entire monastery. So this morning Arjun got dressed up in typical, you know, Zanskri clothes and on a horse and we took a nice Polaroid picture of him. Actually, the whole reason for doing that was because Arjun really, really wanted to come to Pukkil Monastery. And unfortunately, he couldn't because they had to leave towards Jispa. And uh, that's why we took the Polaroid, got it over here, lit two butter lamps in his name. And uh, hopefully next time when he comes here, he'll find it. <laughs> so Arjun, your deed is done. <laughs> And uh, nothing else here, guys. Just, just so happy. Just so, so, so happy being. What a phenomenal place, man. What a phenomenal monastery. This is probably the most scenic, like the most uh, jaw-dropping monastery that I've seen. Zanskar, and you're really stealing my heart. To be quite honest, <laughs> man, this was lovely. What an experience. What an experience. First things first, how are we doing this? First thing, I want to make coffee. I didn't think the lo this uh, walk would be so so damn long, dude. But it was worth it, don't you think? Huh? It was, a it was long... worth it for sure, dude, for sure. The terrain, nah, like how we used to go to Sarchu and all that, and feel like, oh my god, so like Mars type. 
this was like Mars multiplied into like 20. Wait. I don't know about him. Wait, should I, uh, it's rolling? Mm -hmm. Wait, uh, there's this guy, Sudanshu, we met. Okay, he's a, um, he's a filmmaker. Who's name from Jaipur. And this guy's been cycling this all this way along. Huh? The same route that we've been driving on. And his brakes have gone off. Okay, his gears are malfunctioning. And uh, yeah, we just met him on the way back from uh, Pukdel. Yeah, he's just like uh, starting pictures of us. And it's so crazy because, you know, as filmmakers, we never get our pictures taken. Like nobody takes our pictures. That's yeah? so true. Especially yours. You mine, at least mine. take mine. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. so, Sudhanshi was like really nice to click these pictures of us and he made us pose and all that. Like, you know, it's nice to get your pictures clicked by someone that professional. With a nice camera or that too. By the way, guys, Sleepy Owl, thank you very much. This is fast and quick. Oh yeah. Shit, he did that so bad. Can we shut this?